Let me show you a tool that has evolved over the past three years of development that has literally gone to a place I didn't think was even possible. So let's get on the desktop here, waste no time, and start looking at Windows Utility, the new chapter, which uh, if you've never run the utility, all you're doing is on the bottom right hand here, clicking your start menu, terminal with admin, and we're just going to do IRM christitus.com forward slash win and piping IEX, just like you see on the screen. This launches the tool. This tool, you can install a ton of different programs on on the main screen. In this latest update, we now have a filter section. So it's getting to the point where there's just so much here. You're like, hey, I just need to update uh, or just install PowerShell. So you'll just go control F PowerShell or just power and then it'll just kind of limit it down. So it makes it much easier to find whatever it is you're looking for. So we can just keep expanding this with all the huge library of programs and you can check multiple ones, whatever it is, and it'll just install all of them in one go. Makes it so much better. Uh, so that's all I have to say about this. One other cool feature of it is you can just click the update all button. So any program you install through here, Instead of having to go through and update every single program, you can just hit upgrade all. The tweaks section is kind of where the bread and butter is. It takes a lot of the process count down on new installs. So a lot of times, just click recommended desktop. If you've been using this for a while, there's two extra options I do recommend, and that is deleting temporary files and running disk cleanup. Extends the time of the tool, but it will clean up a lot of junk out of your system. The advanced tweaks, I don't recommend, if you don't know what any of those things are, don't check them. Uh, don't remove all Microsoft Store apps or Edge. Uh, I highly recommend not doing those. I just left them there for advanced users because it will break things. <laughs> and if you don't know what it breaks, you shouldn't click it. So that's the big things with this screen. We do have some new customization preferences and kind of clean this up a little bit. You notice a little bit better presentation in this version as well. Uh, the config file, one big thing I do want to add is the WinGit reinstall. New versions of Windows 23H2 and above, well, there's problems with WinGit. Out of the box, it's installed, but it doesn't work. And that's just a problem. So I use WinGit to install all the programs. And if you have problems, like you click a program and it doesn't install on a new Windows, come in here, click WinGit reinstall, it'll go through and install WinGit in the background for you, which is just absolutely amazing. Updates, I always just say recommended updates with security. This only works on Windows Pro editions. Both 10 and 11 can use this Windows utility, but just know the security section's that. And the biggest, the, the absolute coolest edition for the Windows utility right now is MicroWin. This is basically NT Lite, MSMG Toolkit, all those different tools you used to make a deep bloated ISO. This fixes everything. <laughs> this makes it to where you can select your ISO, you, you download it from Microsoft, use an official Microsoft ISO, and then it sits there and uses official Microsoft tools. If you're running it for the first time, it will take a while because it has to download Windows ADK, which is an advanced deployment package that we use in the business space that uh, just kind of does everything for you. So you see in the background, it'll copy all the files, it'll debloat it, remove all like the built-in Microsoft apps. And then obviously I still recommend keeping Defender and Edge, but for those that really want a minimal one, hey, if you want to uncheck those and uh, have them, uh, you know, not on a debloated version of Windows, there you go. And that's micro win. Uh, there are some other features here, but very, very cool. This was actually not created by me. This is an open source project over on GitHub. So big shout out to Conti over here. Here's his GitHub. He's the big mastermind behind it. I did some little fixes for it and like OSDIMG wasn't properly making an ISO. So there's a couple little tweaks I did and cleaned up the code, but 90% of the code was written by Conti for micro win. Big shout out to him. He helped fix all these things. This is the commit that really takes this to the next level and really kind of showcases the amazing open source community in the Windows realm. A lot of people think of open source and think of Linux and other things, 
but I think this project exemplifies how awesome open source is for Windows users. Now, if you do want to support this project, I wouldn't probably keep making it if y'all didn't do a lot with the donations. So a big shout out to anybody that went through cttstore.com and bought the Windows toolbox and like an executable wrapper. You don't need to do that. You can still run it through PowerShell. But if you do want an executable, I do sell them for $10 over there and it just helps support the project forward and kind of keeps these updates rolling because looking back on where this started and where it is now, it's just amazing night and day and I couldn't do it without everybody's support. So thank you guys so much. Thanks to the Twitch chat, to, to YouTube. And that's all I have to say about this update. Super pumped and I'm just going to keep rolling. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. And for those in Twitch chat up here having to hear me ramble on on the camera, let's just keep going.